Reaching Patagonia has been a dream of ours for a long time. And now that we're here, we're soaking it all in. The landscapes have been incredible. Rivers, waterfalls, mountains, lakes. And today, we're going somewhere new to see one more thing that makes Patagonia so special. Very cold in here. <laughs> it is a, a piping 65 degrees. And that's after having run the heater all morning. <laughs> Whew. So last time we left you guys, we were in Chile Chico. Chile Chico is basically right on the border of Argentina. So Friday morning, we woke up, we gathered ourselves, headed for the border to cross into Argentina. Republica Argentina. Woo! Well, we just crossed the border into Argentina. It's about 9.30 in the morning and we're getting ready to approach Argentina's border patrol. We've been reading and hearing a lot of bad things about how they're gonna take everything that we have as far as food goes. Not just fruits and vegetables, like everything. Pretty much all your food. It's annoying. So I don't know if that's just in retaliation to how obsessed Chile is about taking all your food, but one thing I'm happy about, the road is smooth as a baby's bottom so nice and paved and amazing. I'm just hoping that it continues to be like this after we go through uh, Edwana's. So wish us luck. Here we go. Yes. Thank you. See? Ciao, ciao. Yes. That was amazing. Yeah, wow. Awesome. They didn't, they didn't even take anything. We have like tons of stuff that they're supposed to take. This is what I was afraid of. I think that a lot of the reviews that we've read online are about Chile's side of the border and not about Argentina's. Because this guy looked in our so fridge, chill. looked in our cabinets, and was like, okay, cool, thanks. Borders super stressed me out. I was geared up for the worst, and honestly, I think it took less than half an hour and it was the smoothest, most organized border crossing we've ever had. Yeah, we walked up to the border control guys. We thought that they were gonna take all of our stuff. They didn't take a single thing. Nothing. It was super smooth. I would love to have them help train the guys at the Guatemalan and Mexico borders <laughs> in El Salvador. Please give them some help. Use Argentina as a training example. <laughs> so right after we left the border, there was this tiny little border town. And as we rolled into town, we thought, let's go see if we can find an air compressor. If you guys watched our last video, we've been having crazy problems with a puncture we got from a rock and we couldn't fill the tire correctly. And then it was losing air and then our air compressor broke. <laughs> it's been a very crazy couple days trying to find a replacement air compressor, which shouldn't be very hard, but down here, it's been very hard. Necesito un compresor de air para llantas de camiones. No, te lo debo, no tengo. La puerta esa, está al frente, ahí entra la chica. Looks like we're just gonna be searching around a little bit more. Nosotros buscamos por una bomba de air para llantas. No, no, pero es que hay que Everybody keeps giving us directions for where to go and how to find what we're looking for, but we just made it into Argentina and the accent is so hard to understand. This is literally a grocery store. 25th time's the charm, right? I think we found something that might work at this little side of the road, industrial camp store, car parts store. Well, it's really expensive. It's like $175 for this little compressor. So we are just praying and hoping that these cables are long enough. Does it work? Yeah. Yeah, and it works fast. So we ended up finding an air compressor that was beefy. Really nice. I think probably even better than our last air compressor. A uh, hundred times. Super expensive. Not what we wanted to pay, but we pretty much had no choice. We need to have an air compressor with us because as you guys might know, 
if something happens and we need to put our spare tire on, our spare tire is completely deflated. Anyway. So an air compressor is extremely important to us. Crazy. So we found the air compressor. We were stoked. <laughs> So then we load up in the van, we get ready to head down the road. We have a seven and a half hour drive in front of us, but it's no problem because since we hit Argentina, the roads are butter. They are Amazing. so smooth. They've just freshly been paved. They've got freshly painted lines. It's like, it's like they just barely paved this road and put it here for us. Well, we just got done with like a solid three hour drive on one of the gnarliest dirt roads I've ever been on. And at points, it was just gravel and the gravel was like 12 inches deep and we're just like digging through the gravel, like trying not to get stuck. Super gnarly roads out here in Argentina. Hopefully by the time we get to Ushuaia, all these crappy roads have been worth it because this one's not even beautiful. We're just like out here in the middle of Wyoming, not the pretty Wyoming, the flat nothingness Wyoming, and these roads are just treacherous. Unbelievable. Oh, Vicuña Crossing. You better run, you little South American camel, you. We finally made it back to pavement and we made it to El Calafate, which is where we are now. It's a gorgeous little mountain town, but it's honestly a little bit ritzier than I was expecting. Oh yeah. And it seems like all the people here are rich people on vacation. They're all dressed up in their nice clothes. They've all got nice cars. They've all got earrings and <laughs> jackets and just like, you can just tell everyone's like done up because they're in El Calafate. I love that Trent's new standard for rich people is they're wearing earrings. <laughs> yeah, they've got jewelry. <laughs> Today's a two cup of coffee kind of day. Well, that was a really nice breakfast there. Croissants there are really delicious. They make them out of like this sweet bread instead of like regular laminated pastry dough. It's not authentic croissants, but they're really, really good. Also, the coffee was good. It's my second coffee for the day, and we're gonna need it because we're heading back to the van and we're heading to one of the places that makes El Calafate famous. Mine starts here. Let's go ahead. What was that? 15 cars right there? A break in the road, and then it keeps going and going and going. The never ending line. Wow. What, how, this is like over 50 cars. Yeah. And they're all going to this one gas station. And we're, uh, we're running low, but we have a couple gas cans on the back, so we're gonna try to avoid sitting in that line for as long as possible, but I've never seen so many cars lined up at a gas station like that. It's not the only gas station in town. There's one on the other side of town, and when we entered town uh, yesterday, there was like 50 people in line at that gas station, and I was like, oh, it must be the only gas station in town, but there's more than one. There's just too many people in this tiny little town. We made it to Los Glaciares National Park. Which means the Glaciers National Park, not Glacier National Park, the Glaciers. But we're here to see one specific glacier. We 
We took the bus all the way to the end of the road. We're to one of the lookout points now. I can't even believe it. This is insane! <laughs> Seriously, the colors of blue and black and white that are like just layered into the glacier are so breathtaking. It's absolutely amazing. It's the ice amazing. wall from Game of Thrones. <laughs> this isn't just like one piece of ice that's right here. It's part of an enormous glacier that's like it's probably the, the size of Long Island. It's huge. <laughs> It's the second largest ice field after Antarctica in the Southern Hemisphere, and it's the third largest ice field in the world. And this, I forget, it's 26 miles wide and a couple times the size of that long. It's enormous. And there's like 48 major glaciers here and over 100 minor glaciers. Well, we can walk around on these planks and these little uh, metal staircases all day to look at different angles of the glacier, but we can't really get any closer than this. And there's not really much to do but look at it. So I think we're probably gonna start heading back to the van now. But this has gotta be one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen in person as far as natural beauty goes. I have a new respect for glaciers. We made it back to the van and the weather is picking up. Now remember I showed you the line for fueling up for gas as we left town? On our way into the park, the gas light came on. We haven't used these gas cans, so I don't know if they're gonna leak on me or if this is even gonna reach into our little spout hole on our van. It seems to be filling up. I'm covered in dirt now, that's great. Better than being covered in gasoline. Yeah, that's true, I didn't even think about that. Should've put on some crummy clothes. We live in a van, all of our clothes are crummy clothes. <laughs> oh, you Frank boy. You're such a well-traveled dog, but your life is just so terrible. <laughs> Good boy. Are you hungry? Do you want dinner? Look at that statue. Like, Did you say dinner? <laughs> Did you say dinner? All right, let's go. It's hard because now we're kind of in this weird zone when we're crossing borders between Chile and Argentina every couple days. And these borders right here, they confiscate all your fresh fruits and vegetables, or at least the Chileans do. So we're crossing back into Chile again in like a day or two, so we don't want to buy a bunch of groceries. So we haven't been able to make Frank's dog food, which we normally really enjoy because it's hard to find high quality dog food. So we're giving him some dry dog food for the next couple days until we're in one country for long enough to make dog food for him. But we're also not able to grocery shop for ourselves either. And really that's just an excuse to go try this delicious restaurant. While we're in Argentina, we've got to try their brazas, the asados, the, the barbecues. That's like the meats is what Argentina is supposed to be known for. I'm excited to go out and try some. Woo, it's a windy one out here, Lassie. I don't know if you guys can see the trees. I'm sure you can hear it, or if you can see Allie's hair. The wind is so real out here. Yeah. We've, we, been, uh, we've been warned about the wind in Patagonia pretty much our entire trip, but it hasn't gotten real until like our last couple stops. We really keep wanting to fly the drone and everywhere we stop, it's way too windy. And we will lose the drone yeah, for, sure. for sure. And some of the drone footage that we got recently, I almost lost the drone. <laughs> because we almost ordered this just for me and this is enough to feed like four people so it's a good thing we listened. Buen provecho. Oh my gosh. I've never had a better piece of meat in my entire life. It's just like melts in your mouth. 
Well, we scarfed down this meal for four. I don't know how many people. I think it's actually supposed to be for two, but there were four big pieces of meat. I could eat more. I'm like literally, I'm, I'm full to here, but I could eat more. We ate pretty much everything except for a couple of the pieces of potatoes. And it's a good thing that we're parked pretty much right outside because you might have to roll me out of here. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any walking. Is there a Frank boy in here? Oh, we just napping. Honestly, now I feel like I could just lay down and go to bed. You always feel like that. You know what that makes you? A grumpy old man. A grandpa. <laughs> You're my grandpa. Well, I think we're probably gonna kick back, turn on some Netflix, and hit the sack. <sighs> Hope you guys had fun today. This was a crazy, beautiful day. I'm glad we made it to Argentina. Now we have to make it back to Chile. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully you guys saw between the beginning of the video and the glaciers and all the different sites that you can see in Patagonia, why Patagonia is so special. It's incredible. Pretty much anything you want, you can find here. And it's beautiful the entire time. Might be a little bit windy, but it'll make up for it. It will be windy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Thank you.